Okay, I'm going to walk you through a little bit of uh, painting. Um, I did this last night and I muddied up the color right in here. So I'm going to start over and um, put a little more paint on there. And I'm going to like do this other technique of like darker over here. Because I'm going to put something here and I want blue to be on this side of it. But then I can have a little bit of blending here. After this dries, I'll blend a little bit the other way. So. We get to have fun and play. <laughs> so, anyway, that is my. That is that part. I'm just showing you some of the creativeness and how I stop and start. And, and some of this was already done um, the other day. So um, last night, and I started this page a week ago and it's still not finished. I've done some of the uh, uh, embellishments or the add-ons that I'm going to be doing this, but I haven't got I haven't got the page ready. So now we have to let this dry. Now I'm going to paint with some orange and yellow. Let's get going. Just take a little paint and throw it on the page and see what happens.
Okay. I think it looks like a happy little tree. We'll just say it's a happy little tree. I made like a little pocket. So this goes inside there. So when you put it. Here is the last two pages I've been working on, and this is the finished product. And we have a poem here, and we have the moon who slips behind the mountains. It is our rising moon, like that, and it actually has a verse on it. And the night sky, the stars, and the verse. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on every kind of people. Your sons will prophesy, also your daughters. Your young men will see visions. Your old men dreams dreams. When the time comes, I'll pour out my spirit on those who serve me, men and women both, and they'll prophesy. I'll set wonders in the sky above and the signs on the earth below. Acts 2, 17 through 19 in LT. And that is my Bible verse on this moon, which is the rising moon, gives us promise of the sun to come in the morning. Now, I will read this poem. It's called Days In, and uh, even though this is a setting in a mountain scene, and it talks about a sunset beach, it still has the meaning of the day's end, you know, at sunset, when the moon comes up at night. So I shall read the poem to you. It's called Days End, written back in 82005. Jewels in soft night sky adorns textured sunset beach. Now erase day's end. And that is that poem. Now we will go to this page. I painted a tree in the night sky and its fall, obviously. And then I put behind this plastic here, this was actually an envelope with a, a window from like a mail piece and I put some dried leaves and some dried berries and some flower petals back here as a safe way to keep a piece of nature. Now I will open this up. Now this is the mailer all finished. So here we have a splash of tea and we have reading, we have cup of tea and here we have someone relaxing in a bath which is very therapeutic and very good. And then we have a poem here and we have a quote here. And here you can see the quote. And here is the poem that I wrote. Now I know it's not really very neat because I ran out of space on the paper. Now I will read you this poem. It is called Journey to the Cross, written back in 72305. I ran far away, cried out loud I did sway. 
Lord, you brought me back, for trust I did so lack. I fell to the floor, out my heart tears did pour. The two-edged sword sliced clear through my soul it diced. So humbled, I knelt before thy throne did melt. My heart surrendered, thou art my defender. I now trust in thee, O Lord, thy gift is free. Mine eyes lifted up, joy overflows my cup. You lifted me high, thank you, my heart does fly. This was wrote in couplets and had the rhyming pattern of A-A-B-B. And I included this is because it depicts many of our travels through life. Sometimes we know about God and we go our ways and we depart from what we were taught as young. And we make mistakes and we push God out of our lives because we think we can do it alone. But then we realize we needed God all along. And that's why I included this because many times, sometimes you feel like you can do it without God. And that's the wrong attitude and we need to come back to God. And over the past couple of years or so, I have really been feeling on my heart, the pull, the push, the tearing, the pull and push, the tug of war, the fight between good and evil. Politics. In fact, politics isn't even really part of it. It's just a distraction. It's really a pull between what's right and what's wrong. Truth versus false truth. And now, truth is being deemed as the enemy and held up as the truth. Falsehoods and lies are being held up as if it's the gospel. And it's just not so. And so I included this poem, Journey to the Cross. And I hope you all enjoyed this. And now we will have a simple little walkthrough of my pages that I have so far. I don't know how many other pages I'm going to have, but it won't be too many. And I don't know when I'll complete it. But here's what I have. Now here is the beginning. The beginning of my art journey after I've picked it up. It's not really the beginning, but it's the beginning of the book. Autumn moons, winter season, and renewal. These are the first two pages. And this is the next two pages. And if you want to look at all the little tabs, you'll have to go back and watch the other videos. And then these are the next two pages. And these are the next two pages. And I still need to coat these things so they don't stick. These are the tags. But... Uh, And these are the next two pages, and of course I have my little notebook there, and there, and there, here's the next two pages. And there's the next two pages. And the last two pages. Now, I have many pages back here, but they are going to go, I can take them out of the book, and so I can take them out, and what I'm going to do is put them in another journal, because I'm running out of space. Look at how fat this is. And your spine determines how thick the book can really be so I'm already pretty fat you know so I don't think I'm going to add much more to this 
because my pages are really fat. And uh, there you go. And I will probably be starting a new journal and I'll walk you through uh, what that, that's going to look like. And so there you have it.